Hey guys, welcome back to All in Law. Today I'm gonna talk about morphological changes in myocardial infarction. This is a medical video lecture pathology. Okay, guys. So today's topic of discussion is evolution of morphological changes like grass features, mic light microscopy, electron microscopy features of morphological morphologic changes in MI. That's a myocardial infarction. So you know there are two timings. That's a reversible injury and the irreversible injury. Reversible injury if the ischemia or what you call the blood supply has stopped for up to half an hour, zero to half an hour, then the river, there will be a reversible changes. Means the cell can come back to the normal position, the tissues. Whereas irreversible injury, after half an hour, they will go under irreversible injury, means they will not come back to the normal life. Okay, guys? So these are the important things that you should know. Half an hour, within half an hour. That's why we encourage the patients or treat the patients within half an hour so that the results will be very good okay so what happens when there is a reversible injury okay that's a from zero to half an hour right half hour so grass features in heart you don't see anything on light microscopy you don't see anything whereas the electron microscopy shows relaxation of myofibrils relaxation of Myofibrils, glycogen loss, and mitochondrial swelling. Mitochondrial swelling. So these are the what you call reversible changes that you see under electron microscopy. Remember, not under what you call. Um, Sorry, not under what you call um, um, light microscopy. Okay, so let me clear this and move on to the timing. Now let's start. After half an hour, it's going to be irreversible, irreversible injury, right? I I irreversible injury. First half an hour to four hours. Okay, four hours. What happens? The grass changes. Grass features will be none. Nothing will be there. Okay, you cannot notice any change in the heart okay whereas a light microscopy usually it doesn't show nothing it will be norm it looks as if the heart is normal but there's sometimes variable waviness of the fibers at the border could be seen okay waviness of the fiber at the border could be seen and whereas uh, what you call uh, on electron microscopy there will be what you call um, sarco lemmal disruption Or mitochond and mitochondrial amorphous densities. Mitochondrial amorphous densities. Okay, guys. So these are the electron microscopic changes that you see in half an hour to one hour. okay so let's talk about the from timing four hours to what you call 12, 12 hours okay occasionally the grass feature if you see there will be what you call hard looks so what you call a dark mottling okay occasionally but uh, not exactly you can expect that dark mottling could be seen and under like light, light microscopy there will be beginning of a coagulation necrosis edema and the hemorrhage so remember this is the time where after four hours uh, there will be beginning of coagulation necrosis coagulation necrosis beginning so this is really very important and you see edema and you see hemorrhages okay guys right good now let's talk about the timing from 12 hours to 24 hours 
okay 12 hours to 24 hours it's gonna be the grass feature the heart looks dark mottling okay and uh, light microscopy uh, what you call um, there will be a ongoing coagulation will continue the necrosis will continue okay pycnosis of nuclear myocyte hyper eosinophilia okay myocyte hyper eosinophilia marginal what you call a contraction band necrosis okay and a beginning of neutrophilic infiltrate that's really very important point i want to tell you the beginning of neutrophilic infiltrate starts from 12 to 24 hours beginning of neutrophilic infiltrates this is really very important guys so what happens on from a 12 hours to 24 hours then on under light microscopy ongoing coagulation process will continue it will go ahead right pycnosis of what you call a nuclei um, then myocyte hyper eosinophilia marginal contraction band necrosis okay and beginning of neutrophilic infiltrate i want you guys to concentrate on neutrophilic infiltrate that's really very important for your examination okay guys so let's talk about the next timing from one to three days so on a grass feature mottling with yellow tan in fact okay at the center you can see yellow tan in fact at the center right and on under light microscopy the coagulation necrosis right with the loss of nuclear nestrations interstitial infiltrate of neutrophils okay interstitial infiltrates of the neutrophil whereas the neutrophilic infiltrate begins from 12 to 24 hours within a day right uh, but one to three days onwards the total infiltrate what you call the interstitial infiltrate of neutrophils takes place okay guys so now let's talk about the three to seven days a three to seven days the hyperemic border on a grass feature hyperemic border central yellow tone softening central yellow tan softening okay and what happens on a light microscopy at this time three to seven days is a beginning this or beginning of a disintegration of a dead myofiber myofibers with uh, dying neutrophils with dying neutrophils okay and early phagocytosis of dead cells by macrophage at infarct border can take place right okay now let's talk about the three to seven days we know so remember three to seven days just in, very important if you want to remember as a macrophages remember macrophage involvement okay from then we have seven to ten days okay maximally yellow tan and the soft with the depressed red tan margins seen on uh, as a gross feature on uh, seven to ten days okay on a light microscopy uh, you see well what you call uh, well developed phagocytosis of a uh, dead cells early formation of fibrovascular granulation tissue at margins so fibrovascular granulation tissue fibro vascular granulation tissue granulation tissue at margins okay at margins really very important now if you talk about the day next day that's around 10 to 14 days 10 to 14 days onwards the grass feature the red gray depressed infarct borders red gray depressed infarct borders can be seen okay on a light microscopy well established granulation tissue with new blood vessels and collagen deposition so remember on a 10 to 14 days collagen deposition starts collagen deposition starts okay from a two to eight weeks two to eight weeks the gray uh, the grass feature will be gray white scar progressive from border towards the core of in fact okay in fact so on a light microscopy you see increased collagen deposition with a decrease of cellularity okay and from a two months onwards more than two months it's going to be grass feature will be scarring complete scarring will be done right and light microscopy will show you what you call a dense collagen scar okay dense collagen scar so these are the what you call briefed 
um, video on um, evolution of microbiological changes in myocardial infarction. Okay, guys, so thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.